Water Street Partners in Bellevue, Iowa, along with Alan Ernst, and a beautiful setting for a really exciting new business. I'm Paul Hemmer, Executive Director of the Grand Opera House in Dubuque. We're going to learn about these businesses and take a little tour of the galleries and what have you as we move through our little ceremony this afternoon. First of all, I want to find out what was the inspiration behind this, Alan? The idea was that Bellevue had been struggling with their downtown retail district. You needed things to have in town. If you're going to have people come to town, you need something to do. And you need people to come to town to justify having something to do. So the idea was, what can you find that sustains the community as a whole? So the first part of this was the local art gallery. We have 70 regional, you know, have some connection to Bellevue and the Bellevue community. So you're supporting the artist. Uh, that was the first part of it, that you have you know, a draw outside of the area. Uh, then it was the next step was, what does the community, what needs do you have that aren't being met? Uh, you know, a little nicer dining, coffee shop, whole foods, organic foods, things that weren't present in the community. Uh, so we found, you know, a really good local chef, a really good local baker, a really good local organic farmer, uh, a couple other farmers who provide fresh produce for us. Uh, we found a coffee bean, uh, roaster out of Platteville that we love, so all trying to bring more to the community but yet support what's here. So that was kind of the impetus of all of this, is how do you make the community better without hurting what's here, with helping everybody else that's already been here. Well, it is a beautiful setting. I mean, you're right along the Mississippi River. Bellevue has always been known for that. But what you really created, I think, here is a destination, a reason for people to come to Bellevue once again. Right, that was the idea. We have this hidden jewel here. We all know how great it is. You know, people in the community know how great it is. We have a few tourists that know it, but don't really want to tell anybody because <laughs> they like to find a place to park. They like to have the shops that they've always had. So trying to build on what's here, our, our little jewel on the eastern edge of Iowa. Can, can you name some other names of folks that are involved with you on this? Well, the different businesses are. We have, this is Great River Gallery that we're in right now. This is our show gallery. We have, uh, every four weeks, we have a new show in this gallery featuring a couple of local artists. Uh, we're very fortunate this summer that we have the original Grant Woods in the gallery for the summer. There's a little extra draw. Uh, the other gallery, which we refer to as our house gallery, but it's the off-the-wall gallery, that's where we have all 70 of the artists that we represent, and they're there all the time. We have a wine cellar in the basement of that building where we have 10 Iowa wines that we represent. We have a, an art studio upstairs. We do after-school children's programs. We do adult programs on weekends, uh, different things using that space. We have a couple artists who use it as well. We have the Happy Bean Coffee Shop, which is our coffee shop. It's where people eat lunch, eat breakfast. We have dinners on weekends. And then Water Street Market, which is our, our food market. I saw some wonderful looking cheese in there that I'd never seen any place else before. Yeah, our cheese, we were, we were lucky to find a distributor out of Wisconsin, so it's almost all Wisconsin, relatively local cheese producers. This is a certificate designed by Gary Olson, another ambassador, and framed by Creative Touch Gallery. It says, on the occasion of the grand opening of Water Street Partners LP, we celebrate your success and the contribution you've made to Dubuque's economy and business community. I know you'll hang that proudly. We also have uh, been announcing on all four Radio Dubuque stations today, all four of them have been announcing uh, the ribbon cutting every hour. Uh, the on-media video that Steve is taking and the pictures that are being taken as well will be on a number of the cable channels, on YouTube, and on the Chamber website for the Dubuque Ambassadors. And we've been spotlighted for you on Lamar Advertising's billboard on Highway 20 West, uh, courtesy of, of Jim Shoemaker, another Dubuque ambassador. So it's a nice media package worth about $3,000 to help get people down here. Congratulations to you, sir. One, two, three.